Okay, World of Wonder, we are in part two of our ball series, series of videos. So now we're in the fairway. So if you saw in the beginning, part one, we're at the green side. So we are hitting bunker shots. We're hitting putts for sound and feel. We're hitting those kind of those low nippers up there to a back flag. We're testing the golf ball, kind of stretching its legs to see what won. We learned a lot about the three golf balls that we have, Chrome Tour, Chrome Tour X, and Chrome Soft. But now we are in a very, very tough iron shot spot. So we're into the wind. We're about 160 to 165 yards out to a back flag, into the wind, kind of a side hill lie. So it's one of those shots, if you guys play enough golf, if the ball's not right, the miss hits are going to get completely out of whack. And if you do hit a good shot, if the ball's not right, it's going to float on you. It's going to do all sorts of things. So we're going to find out what these golf balls do on kind of a flighted shot. It's a world of wonder from the middle of the fairway. Uh, let's hit some shots. Here we go. Okay, so we have about 165 into this back flag. We're on nine at the farms. Hit a great drive. You're all jacked up. You want to potentially make birdie at the very worst. You want to make par. You got to sack up and hit a good shot here. So we got Chrome soft to start. So I'm going to try and aim it a little left of the flag. I got seven iron. I'm not trying to gas it, but uh, let's see what uh, kind of a shot we can hit. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Not a great strike, but I liked how it flew. So, so far, Chrome Soft, the one thing I like about it is it's really, because of the fact that it's a little bit more forgiving left to right, if I wipe it a little bit, that ball didn't fade a ton. It kind of actually held its line. So when they talk about forgiveness, that's what they're talking about. But what I have there is I have a putt up the hill and I hit the green. It's all the way back on that back platform, so we're happy. So let's hit one more. Okay. Don't hate that shot either. Flew, went forever. Okay, that went over the green. So now we just gotta take a little bit more off of it. So now we're gonna go to Chrome Tour, which in my testing, this golf ball spins with the irons about four or 500 RPMs less than Chrome Tour X. So my hunch is on a shot like this, I don't really have to swing that hard. I can actually take some speed off and I'm still gonna get it there. My question is, will it hold enough spin to get it to stop to that back flag. So that's where the test is. That's what, that's what I'm gonna be looking for. So let's just kind of, we're just hitting little chippy shots here. Like I don't hate that one. Ooh, all right, Chrome Tour, that was pretty good. Let's see if we can get one to go a little bit lower, kind of a low flighted one. Something like that. Get back there, that was cool. That was really cool. Okay, so we like that golf ball. On foresight, ball's not spinning enough for me to really get excited about that golf ball, but like in a shot like this into the wind is where it has its value. This is what I wanna see. This is Chrome Tour X. This ball spins significantly more than Chrome Tour. It's a golf ball I love. I've been playing something, I've been playing Chrome Soft X for a long time. I just want to see what this one does. Knowing that I don't have to hit a full shot here, I want to see if this ball maintains its spin, how it flies. We're not into a stiff breeze, but stiff enough to affect the golf ball. And let's hit a couple with Chrome Tour X. That was awesome. That was really awesome. Spin right. We're happy with that one. Let's kind of get creative here. Choke down, down to the steel with a seven iron. And oh, I like the way this thing flies. Let's hit one more. That was fun. But it's still spinning. I mean, it's off of a left to right lie. The ball's going left to right, but it's not that spinny kind of floaty left to right. It's got some integrity, which is what you want, because that's the ball that gets through the wind. It would be good. Okay, so three different golf balls, three different profiles. So I'll start with Chrome Tour. Chrome Tour is surprising me because it doesn't fly like a low spin golf ball. I only notice it's low spin is because I've seen it on quad, I've seen the numbers. It's four or 500 RPMs less. I don't see that in the air. Chrome Soft to me is displaying a lot of forgiveness, which is the platform of that whole golf ball. It's really awesome around the greens, but it's forgiving, it flies straight. I hit a couple of miss hits, seven irons there, one okay, one 
Kind of a miss hit, but I still hit the green. It carried and it held its line. Chrome Tour X does exactly what I want it to do. I only want to see ball speed increase with Chrome Tour X in this whole golf ball test. That's where I'm really going to be focusing on. Is am I picking up some ball speed? Because right now, to be honest, I'm not sold that, uh, I'm not convinced that Chrome Tour couldn't be a golf ball I could use. Because there's some ways to make, build some sp uh, more spin into my irons, maybe add some loft. Because right now, I think Chrome Tour is kind of a contender as well. So we're going to get to the tee next time you see me. But right now, we're in the middle of the fairway. If you have any more questions, go to CallawayGolf.com, World of Wonder website. Part three is going to be the driver's big sticks. We'll see you then from the middle of the fairway. We're out of here.